Alrighty, we're going to start off first with our controls. Left mouse and drag will rotate your building. Right mouse and drag will move you around the scenery. And then you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out of your building. Then you can go over here to your building's dimensions. You can do one of two things. You can either type the building size and hit enter for both your width and your length. For instance, this 40 by 60, or you can use the slider to move it to the appropriate amount. We can do the same thing with the height. And then you can also adjust the pitch down here. Standard in our buildings is to have a four on 12 pitch. All right, the next part of our tutorial, we'll talk about changing the color of your building. Go here to your color options, and it will give you the options to change your roof. You can change it to whatever color you'd like. You can also change the walls to whatever color you'd like. All of the colors that are available for our roof, wall, and trim are available on our 3D model. You can pick and choose whichever one that you'd like. It is the same cost for all of our colors except for the copper metallic, which you can talk to your building specialist about. The last thing on here is your environment. You can change the environment around you to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. Next we will talk about your wall options. Not all buildings need to be fully enclosed. Under your wall options, you can choose to enclose any part of the building or not enclose it, like this example, which has the sides closed in and the gable ends not. And here we have a full pavilion with just the roof only. Now going back, putting this on, you also have the option of adding wainscoting, either on one side of the building or around the entire building. Once you click on the wainscoting, you'll notice under the color options then it gives you the option to pick a wainscot color. All right, for this video, we're gonna talk about adding lean-tos to your building. Go to your whichever side you want and hit enabled. It will give you an enclosed wing. Most people want one that is open, such as this. You just have to go to the walls, upper triangles only, and it will give you what you will be looking for. Standard on our buildings is to have a roof pitch of one, one and a half. You can adjust your width to whatever length that you'd like it to come out from the building then you can also go to your cut length this will cut either left or right if you don't want a wing going the entire length of that side of the building same thing with the cut left standard on our buildings is going to be a, an eight inch drop and a roof pitch of one and a half this is as close to the representation as you can get as you can see you can add this on any side of the building including the front or any of the sides all right, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about gable extensions. As you can see here, this is what a wing looks like on the gable end. But if you want to continue your roof line in a gable extension, go down here to your building extensions. You can go to the front or back wall to extend the roof line. Make sure that your roof pitch matches and hit enable. Here it has a flat roof pitch. So we're going to go ahead and come down here and match our roof pitch. For this one, it says three. So we're going to match it up to three. And hit enter and it's going to match. If you don't want it enclosed, just uncheck the enclosed part. And then the same thing here, you can have your gable extension go out as far as you would like. Keep in mind that this upper triangle here will be enclosed in your building unless you say otherwise. And there will also be concrete underneath your gable extension unless you specify otherwise. Alrighty, in this tutorial we're going to talk about adding windows and doors. Under your doors and windows tab, once you click on a window, it will pop onto the building closest to you. You can slide this over to any side of the building. Once you click on the window, you can adjust its size. You can also put it center to ground and from the building center if you'd like to adjust it to according to your plans. Once you hit update, it will stay there. You can do the same things for your solid doors. Whenever you move them around, you can move them wherever you'd like. You can also add double doors and move them around wherever you'd like. All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about adding and adjusting roll-up doors. 
So down here we have our roll up door. Don't worry about it being flipped around. As soon as you move it around, it will flip to the correct side. Now, as you can see, you can move it around just like the other doors and you can also adjust its width and its height. Once you hit click on update, it will adjust it as such. You can also move this around wherever you'd like. You can also pick your colors for your doors. Just note that all of our doors come standard in white. Any other color will be an additional charge. Another good feature of our 3D model is it allows you to move things for size. For instance, how big will a building be compared to a person? Go down here to your add scale. You can add a car to see if your car is going to fit under your wing. You can add trucks. There are several other things that you can add to this. Vehicles are probably the most common that we get and the big one RVs. Will this RV fit under our roll up door? As you can see, it does. You can add whatever you'd like for scale to fit your needs from an RV to a car to a person to yes, we have had people store planes in our buildings. Alrighty, once you've designed your dream building, you'll want to make sure that you can access it for the future. We have several options. You can print out your building. It will give you all of the dimensions in your printout. You can also share your building. You can share it with yourself or share it with others, friends and family. You can also save your building. Saving your building allows you to, uh, to access it later. Put add notes in there as well. Every time that you save a new building, it will save just that building. You can also submit for a free quote. Once you fill out the information, it will go over to one of our building specialists and they can reach out to you to discuss your quote. Once you hit submit quote, we will receive that building and be able to quote you for it. There are also some other things like reset view, look inside and hide walls. Thank you.